Musk's lawsuit against OpenAI intensifies, arguing that the company has drifted from its objective as an open source champion for humanity. Do the latest developments complicate Musk's ongoing legal dispute with the AI research business he co-founded? In an unusual turn of events, OpenAI has reacted to Musk's lawsuit with stolen emails, revealing his previous backing for the organization's for-profit desires. Musk wanted to lead the company, insisting on board control and even proposing an alliance with Tesla. This disclosure calls into question Musk's ongoing legal case against OpenAI, which accuses it of diverting from its non-profit goals in developing AI for public benefit. The disclosed emails revealed a different story, highlighting Musk's previous cooperation with OpenAI's for-profit goals. This inconsistency adds another element of interest to the ongoing court dispute, raising concerns about motivation and openness. According to an OpenAI blog article written by co-founders Brockman, Altman, Ilya Sutskiver, John Schoolman, and Wachik Zaremba, emphasizes Musk's initial enthusiasm for a collaboration that may have had a huge impact on both firms' futures. Elon Musk, an early OpenAI investor, fought with the group over the company's basic objective. Musk craved control and wanted OpenAI to work together with Tesla, anticipating a for-profit enterprise in which he could be in charge. However, OpenAI's founders, including Sam Altman, were certain that individual ownership of the company would violate its basic objective. So guys, do you think that OpenAI's alliance with Microsoft constitutes a breach of contract as Musk has claimed? Musk eventually quit the board in 2018, making way for his own AI firm, XAI. In a bold move, Musk is now suing OpenAI, arguing that the business broke its agreement to make AI advancements publicly available to the public. He cites OpenAI's partnership with Microsoft, which has invested billions into the business as proof that it has evolved into a closed source corporation under Microsoft control. This legal scream between Musk and OpenAI adds another layer of intrigue to the world of AI development, raising concerns about the balance between innovation, business, and the public good. OpenAI, striving to be an example of open source AI development, faced an important turning point when the expense of developing advanced AI tools became a serious obstacle to its non profit purpose. In late 2017, Elon Musk made a critical decision to switch to a for profit model. However, discussions stalled when Musk delayed funds in exchange for majority stock initial board power, and the CEO post. The question is, what do you think about the ethical implications of AI development? And how should companies balance the pursuit of profit with the potential impact on society? Despite this, OpenAI stressed that Musk knew that the mission did not need open sourcing artificial general intelligence. This disclosure sheds light on the complex processes at work, demonstrating the difficult balance between financial sustainability, governance, and the basic objective of advancing AI for the greater good. The shift from non-profit to for-profit was not without complications, highlighting the complex negotiations and opposing viewpoints that formed AI's path. The disclosure of a 2016 email exchange between Sutskiver and Musk revealed a significant point when the business considered reducing its openness as AI work progressed, a change from its original concept. Regardless of this, OpenAI's ChatGPT, which debuted in November 2022, has been a huge success, driving the firm to an estimated worth of $80 billion. However, internal conflict such as Altman's firing and subsequent rehiring has generated concerns about the company's governance and internal processes. 
OpenAI expressed regret for the situation, acknowledged Altman's contribution in motivating the team, while emphasizing the necessity to move forward without him. So the present installment highlights the complexity and challenges of operating a leading AI company, where the balance of innovation, competitiveness, and governance is continuously shifting. How did OpenAI express their scenarios via a blog post? We're sorry that it's come to this with someone we've sincerely admired, someone who's motivated us to reach higher, then told us we'd fail, founded a competitor, and then sued us when we began making significant advancements toward OpenAI's purpose without him, OpenAI wrote in a blog post. According to OpenAI CEO and co-founder Sam Altman, Musk's decision to sue the firm that invented ChatGPT is unbecoming. During an honest interview with Lex Friedman for his podcast, Altman discussed his rocky relationship with Tesla's creator. Look, I think this entire situation is unbecoming of a builder, and I regard Elon as one of the greatest builders of our time. I know he understands what it's like to have detractors attack him, and it makes me sadder that he's doing it to us," Altman said in the interview with Lex Friedman on YouTube's podcast. Altman also stated that Musk's statement that he would drop the case if OpenAI changed its name to Closed AI speaks to the seriousness in which Elon means the lawsuit. In fact, Musk sued OpenAI and its CEO Sam Altman earlier this month accusing them of betraying the company's basic values. Musk said that when he supported OpenAI's founding, he negotiated an agreement that it would remain a non-profit and make its technology available to the public. Musk said that OpenAI's acceptance of funds from Microsoft, as well as its strong ties to the tech behemoth, violated the agreement and undermined the company's initial objective. In terms of what Elon's real motivations are, I don't know, Altman went on to say. What was the main reason for Elon Musk's departure from OpenAI, according to Sam Altman? Altman further highlighted that it was not OpenAI's decision to cut ties with Musk. It was actually the opposite way around. He thought OpenAI would fail. He also wanted Tesla to be able to establish an AGI endeavor. He had several goals, including turning OpenAI into a for-profit firm under his supervision or merging it with Tesla. We didn't want to do that, so he left, which was good. In my memory, the plan was simply to be acquired by Tesla and given entire control over it. I'm convinced that was it, stated Sam. Altman's account of the attempted revolution at OpenAI, which he describes as the most painful experience in his life, provides an accurate representation of the dramatic corporate drama emerging in Silicon Valley. His unexpected departure from OpenAI, followed by a quick return within a week, reads like a plot twist in a thrilling thriller, highlighting the unpredictable nature of leadership relationships in digital businesses. Altman's return to the CEO position was met with criticism for communication concerns, and numerous staff threatened to resign. Greg Brockman's resignation as president of the firm in response to Altman's dismissal added another layer of complexity to the story, illustrating the extent of internal conflict. Notwithstanding the chaos, Altman found comfort in the immense support he received from co-workers and loved ones. He compared it to reading his own tribute, a time of intense thought amidst the chaos. This traumatic event left a lasting impression on Altman, demonstrating the strength and cooperation that can arise in the face of hardship. Altman is relieved that the incident occurred early in OpenAI's history, allowing the business the strength to prepare for future issues. Altman highlighted that OpenAI is aggressively rebuilding its board, a critical step following recent changes. The board's change from nine to six members and its search for additional, more experienced members demonstrates the company's commitment to governance and strategic direction. This transition provokes thoughts about the structure of board composition and its impact on corporate effectiveness. 
How could OpenAI's new board members improve its governance and strategic vision? Altman's emphasis on the board's role in governance and strategic planning highlights the significance of this development. It underlines the importance of having a wide set of talents and experiences in order to successfully steer OpenAI. As the organization proceeds forward, these changes will have an enormous effect on its future direction. 